Well, hello everybody. Uh, good afternoon. It's Wednesday, September 14th or 15th, and it's the year 2010, and it's also a day that's known as Hump Day, and you are now watching Hump Day News number five. Ooh! Numero cinco! Cinco. Uh, and for this special occasion, the fifth edition of Hump Day News, Marcus Hump Day News, we have gone to the center, the apex of where news happens. New York City, and we have a special, special international correspondent, Miss Carmelita Tropicana, here from New York, or as she calls it, Nueva York. Aquí estamos reportando desde Nueva York, desde Lower East Side. In Spanish, we call it Loisaida. How are you people? I'm Marga. I'm so happy that you came here to be with us in Nueva York because there is so much happening in Nueva York. Oh, what is happening? Because we like to take the news from Sunday to, to Wednesday and tell you what's been happening in the week so far. Well, in the week so far, uh, okay, uh, in terms of politics, what happened was that uh, Monserrat Hiram, who was a horrible senator from uh, New York, was kicked out, and he, as you know, was one of the people that, you know, beat up uh, his girlfriend. So no. he's a very bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. So he's out. But thank God we have, like, good people like Rosy Mendez from the Lower East Side. Is she good to her girlfriend? Oh, my God, she is so good, so good. Oh, okay. Is she familia? Oh, she is such familia. She is? So she is cute as a button. So it's, so it's, and you have a lot of cute buttons here. Mm. Uh, it's a very, very beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, palace that Carmelita uh, Tropicana lives in here in New York. Uh, don't mind the sounds. There's just a few shootings outside, but uh, it, it's all just kind of warning shots. Uh, Carmelita, um, I understand that the uh, the subway fare, uh, they're proposing that the subways in New York uh, go up to uh, $100 a month for a metro car. Actually, $110 a month. What do you think of that? Well, uh, I walk a lot. You know, the good thing is that oh, instead so of taking, yes, this is why my chest is so good because I walk a lot. There's nothing like walking for getting your chest even higher up. Uh, yes, there's a lot of walking that we're having now. There's a lot of bike lanes being built. So yes, it is going up, but then maybe we got to do a lot more walking, do a lot of like bicycle riding, all that kind of stuff. Okay. I have noticed walking around uh, New York that there is a lot of islands. It looks like um, Berkeley, California. I don't know if you've ever been to Berkeley, California. See? That, yeah. Very, yeah. There's, it's, it's people with cars hate it because there's islands everywhere. I know you, you are from the island. And we are standing here at an island, at my kitchen island. So how good is that? We're actually standing here at a news desk, but she, she <laughs> likes to eat her frijoles on it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carmelita Tropicana. Uh, she's not only well-versed in politics in New York, um, she's also a cultural critic. That's what? right. Yes. Oh, see, critic. That's right, Marga. I'm so glad you say that because we are having a great exhibit coming up. And Marga, you got to come back for it because I know you're going to be here again in October. And you got to come back and see uh, a beautiful exhibit by the New York Historical Society and El Museo del Barrio. And they're putting together this uh, piece called Nueva York. Look at this. Like no, this. people. Oh, oh, yeah. People. Oh, no. That's actually good. Yes, right there. Oh, yeah. look, people. Yeah. Look. Oh, I can feel like I almost touch you, touch you, people. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, anyway, um, I just want to tell you that, you know, the Nueva York exhibit is, um, is showing how Latinos were in Nueva York. They were the first people to come to New York. Except, you know, they were the natives that were living in Manhattan. But the first and, person... And you, right? You were yes. one of the first... <laughs> no, because it's 1612, baby. And I am not the 1612. Oh, uh, she kicked me. She kicked me with her tacón. Yes, so that the, it, you can tell that the roots, okay? The roots of Latinos in New York go really deep, Marga. Really deep. Well, that's... I know you don't know that. But. <laughs> okay, that's, that's wonderful, Carmelita. But uh, you, we have a very short attention span audience. So um, we, we uh, are so interested in this. I'm sure many people will. How long is, does that run, Carmelita? Uh, uh, it runs until... Uh, it runs for a while. Yes, uh, January. Please. Yeah. This episode of Marga's Hump Day News is brought to you by Latin Comedy Fever. And, and how come you call it hump? What happens with a hump? Because you're humping? Is Don't... humping is good? Oh, uh, oh, uh... 
Hi, I uh, forgot to tell you that Latin Comedy Fever, starring uh, myself, Marco Gomez, uh, Bill, are you okay? You okay? Uh, Bill Santiago, Rudy Moreno, DJ Laidis, and uh, hosted by Norman Zelaya, will be at Yoshi San Francisco on September 22nd. That's next hump day. It's a hump day comedy show. Or as we say in Spanish, it's a hump dia comedy show. <gasps> Latin Comedy Fever, oh my God, I'm going to go there. And you can get your tickets uh, by visiting uh, yoshissanfrancisco.com uh, or something like that. Or, or just go to margaretgomez.com and you can see the link for tickets there. We'll see you next hump day, or I guess I just will. We'll think about Carmelita Tropicana. Also check her out on carmelitatropicana.com and on Facebook. Okay, that's enough. No, that's enough. That's enough, Carmelita. <laughs>